Hi, this is Will H. from DFW, Texas, and this is Hex Clock. This was my final project for CS50. Uh, it is a fully functioning alarm clock uh, with all the features you, you would expect in an alarm clock, except it displays time in hexadecimal using a 16-bit unsigned integer. This board here is the programming board that I built. It has ISP headers and an IC socket to accept an Atmel AVR microcontroller. The microcontroller is an ATtiny 2313A. This right here is some of the code, part of the code that makes the clock work. This, this project incorporates a combination of hardware and software to make it work, so it was quite challenging for me. This is the ISP programmer itself that plugs into this board that I made through USB so I can program, uh, put the code on the chip. Now, to set the clock, it's really simple to operate. This button is set select. This is snooze, and this is increment. So to set the clock, you make sure it's not on alarm. Put it on clock so you can see that the dot that indicates the alarm is on is off. Now press set select once. You can cycle through and set each digit individually. Now, see I, I already have it set. But it's a little off, so say we're going to set it again. I just press this once. Seven. Zero. Okay, wait, we gotta stop. Boom. Okay, check to see that they're the same. This software I wrote is a completely different program. It's a Linux program, but it's written in software and is far less accurate than this because this uses interrupts. Now, I have a manual that I've written as well as the source code and documentation and a make file that I, I will include links to these things as well as the data sheets for the components I used. The components I use in the, in the display is basically just a standard four digit uh, seven segment display common common anode display. This is a, a TPIC 6C595 shift register, SIPO shift register from Texas Instruments. That's what caught, allows me to send a serial signal to the shift register to multiplex this display because only one of these digits is ever lit at once, but it refreshes the whole display at a rate of 250 hertz. Um, as far as sending the serial data, I use the technique called bit banging just because I could. It also has a buzzer and an alarm that you can set and it also has the option to set a user to find snooze if you want to do that you press and hold both of these buttons for about one half of a second it says prog now you're in set select mode to set the uh, snooze interval see and it'll keep that so, so long as the jumper uh, for user to find snooze is set. If you disconnect that jumper, then it will just use the hard-coded value, which is about six minutes.